If you're using an Ender 3, you may have experienced what is called the, the clunk problem. It's also called clack, snap, bang. Um, and we're just going to call it clunk for short for this video. But uh, if you get the clunk every few prints, that's tolerable. You might want to check your machine, but it's, it's not a terrible thing. More than that, and something may be wrong. Uh, the clunking, if you're having it, it should be fixed very soon or damage, permanent damage may occur. I'm not going to go into detail about repairs. This is more where to look on your printer. If you don't know how to fix it and you tear into it, you're probably going to create more problems than you fix. So yeah. Um, but if you know what you're talking about, know what you're doing, uh, I'm going to tell you exactly where to look to find these problems. I've experienced it five different ways. Three of them are related. Uh, but they can all happen independently and they're all going to come from either this, the print head or the, uh, feed mechanism. So, um, now fixes two through five. Yeah, those are definitely going to require some, uh, serious skills. The first one is pretty easy and that's just that the nozzle temperature is too low. And yeah, if you uh, look over here, it tells you on the uh, print school what the recommended temperature is and you set that on your machine. We had the experience when we bought it. We got a sample of PLA. We ran that. Everything worked fine. Then we replaced it with PLA plus and we started having problems. It just wasn't printing right. So yeah, the fact is that we assumed that the printing temperature was going to be the same. It wasn't. Yeah. Okay, so one of the things you want to do is after the print starts and it's a little way along the way, check to make sure you have the correct temperature set and it'll show up in the info window. If it's too low, what happens is the filament does not get liquid enough to flow through the nozzle easily and the little brass wheel, which we'll look at, uh, starts to skip and then you'll hear it as a clunk. It'll put pressure on the filament. It tries to push the filament filament can't go fast enough so the wheel skips and it kind of jumps backwards and you get that clunk. Um, so yeah the fix is pretty easy just use the correct temperature. These are the two areas where it's going to come from. These are big pictures. This is that brass wheel. The brass wheel is either going to be the cause or things are going to be uh, centered around this brass wheel. So for example like if the temperature is too low this is the brass wheel. It's going to be skipping. So the next thing is you get a loose brass tooth feeder wheel. <laughs> Say that three times real fast. These set screws can come loose and this happened in ours. And what happens is at first it starts moving a little bit, it just wiggles across here, wiggles across here. And the set screw is, you can see here, the scarring on ours, it starts moving back and forth, back and forth until finally, if it's not fixed, this thing will just spin. And when that happens, that's a serious problem. Okay. Now symptoms clunking when the filament changes direction. Yeah. So when it retracts and then pushes forward again, you'll get the clunking because it's that wheel snapping back and forth across this flat section. It gets louder over time because yeah, this is moving more and more each time. And you can see the shaft here, the silver part, and the brass thing, you can see there'll be movement between these two parts. And after a while, the filament will stop feeding because the brass wheel will stop turning. And that's a bad thing. The fix is to put the tooth wheel in position and tighten the two set screws. So the set screw, this set screw that's in front of the flat has to be 90 degrees to this flat. And if it's not, what will happen is it will quickly loosen and go back to this clunk, clunk, clunk. Okay, so you make sure that's 90 degrees, you tighten it, you wiggle a little, tighten it, wiggle it, and when you get that really tight, then you tighten the second one. Um, let's see. Yeah, you want to fix it before it comes completely loose and spins because at that point you can start getting real damage. Um, what happens is the filament stays inside the print head because it's not moving and it starts to cook in there. It can burn, uh, but usually what it does, it turns into a nasty hardened uh, chunk and it takes special cleaning skills to get it out of there. The third reason you'll hear the clunk is you get a clogged nozzle or path. And the first cause is just using, you know, low quality, cheap filament, dirty. Um, 
and it gets stuck in there and, and it's kind of like the the last one where things aren't moving fast enough through the through the nozzle and the brass wheel just can't push it fast enough so uh, the second cause of this is the feeder wheel is loose and spinning so that's where from number two it's gotten away from you and now this thing is moving uh, you can fix the set screws as recommended before but now you're gonna have to go in and you're gonna have to uh, clean the print head one time when this happened or when it was happening I could just pull the, the tube out this is called a Bowden tube I can pull the Bowden tube out of the Bowden uh, uh, holder right here and fix it however if you do it wrong something else happens okay so anyway uh, loose tooth wheel you get a stop filament and it makes as a lump so you need to release this uh, Teflon uh, tube and the, from the Bowden coupler right here uh, and snip the ball off there'll be a ball of, uh, of stuff I'll show you a picture of that in a second and then you carefully remove the Bowden coupler that's this thing again if you don't know what you're doing don't do this uh, then put the Bowden coupler and Teflon feed back after you clean out underneath here okay after that the printer may work normally with only an occasional clunk now and again uh, and if that happens uh, there's been a mistake in reassembly and this is from first hand I did this um, so you end up with clunk number four you end up with a misinstalled Teflon Bowden feeder tube uh, so if we look over here at the picture this is what the print head looks like behind the cover and this is what's going on inside there I know these are not to scale but so here's the coupler and here's the nozzle here's the nozzle down here and here's the coupler and what happens is if this tube if the Bowden tube is not installed really tight up against this nozzle uh, you're gonna get a gap so normally the filament just kind of flows through there it looks like that but if there's a gap what will happen is it gets hot enough that the and there's enough pressure it'll start oozing back and you'll get this like mushroom that starts forming around the end now the film will try to keep pushing through there but this area is not as hot and what happens is as it spreads out it gets cooler and so you get this semi melted filament donut that forms in here and yeah then the filament doesn't want to push through there let's see so yeah the cause of this is the Teflon tube is not fully seated against the, the nozzle like that and uh, yeah so I covered that you get the clunk when the pressure gets too high and then when it cools this is another problem when it cools this donuts in there and when you try to pull the filament out uh, it doesn't want to come out so that's another symptom so this fix requires advanced skills you're gonna have to take the print head apart you're gonna have to clean it and if you do it wrong you're going to damage the the print head so if you don't have that skill find a friend who does or take it in to have it fixed um, and this is just a short summary uh, again if you know what you're doing this will make sense the nozzle and the Bowden uh, coupler removed so you got to remove this part you got to remove this and of course you got to remove the tube uh, and then you clean it and you reassemble it to make sure that there is no gap like that uh, yeah so also the other thing is when you cut the end of this tube you need to make sure it's really square and there's no like strings hanging off of it it needs to be just like perfectly aligned it needs to be 90 degrees across there no gaps no you know no nothing no little defects in the bottom of it and there's a special uh, very expensive tube cutter that does a very nice job of making a 90 degree cut across the bottom okay so again there's a lot of excellent videos on this I won't go into that the number five is the print table to the brass nozzle gap is too small so I guess this doesn't really require any special technique but you uh, you have to set this gap in here very carefully so for our typical use PLA plus and uh, a 0.4 nozzle we use a gap of about 0.1 millimeters and you can see me setting the gap here with a feeler gauge some people use a piece of uh, ordinary uh, paper that works I've done that but the uh, feeler gauge uh, lasts a lot longer shoving paper in and out of there uh, <laughs> yeah if you have never used a feeler gauge um, what you want is you want a slight drag as you push it through there the bottom of the nozzle has to be clean you can't have like little string of uh, of uh, filament coming out of there it's got to be clean 
So uh, you just shove it in underneath there and there should be some drag, but it shouldn't slide underneath there really easily and it shouldn't be really tight. You shouldn't have to like push it under there and it goes click when it comes in and out of it. Okay, so the symptoms, you get the clunk, but there's no other causes present. Uh, you've checked for the other things. Uh, so the gap is just too small and yeah, it, the, the nozzle is basically blocked. It's pretty much almost sitting up against there it just cannot flow out of the end of the nozzle. The pressure, the back pressure gets too high. A little brass wheel we talked about earlier, it just can no longer push the filament through and you get the clunk. So the fix is to level your bed carefully, all four corners, make sure it's all level all the way across and then to set your uh, gap in here carefully. So uh, gap does depend on nozzle size, print speed and filament type. So you need to check all those and make sure it's good uh, for what you're doing. Uh, and then I went, already went over that example. So, okay, that's, uh, there's probably other ways to get the clunk, but these are the ones I've experienced and uh, this is what to look for when uh, you start getting that clunk. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your 3D printing experiences.